This video is on developing lithofilm for use with printed circuit boards. If we were using real lithofilm, we would have to turn the lights out and operate by the light from this very dim red safe light. You wouldn't be able to see very well. So uh, we're going to cheat. We're going to use fake lithofilm and leave the lights completely on so that you can see all the actions very clearly. Okay, let's take an inventory, lithofilm, artwork generated by a laser printer, a contact exposing frame. You can use a piece of glass and foam rubber if you don't have one of these. Exposing light source, I use a, a, a work light with a 25 watt incandescent bulb. Uh, keep the wattage low on the bulb uh, because the uh, lithofilm is very sensitive. A photographic uh, red safe light um, the red light from the hardware stores will not work. Developing chemicals. Uh, developer, tap water, fixer. Uh, and tongs to move the lithofilm from tray to tray. And then you will need a makeshift clothesline to, uh, to let the film dry. Okay, so let's go through the procedure. We need to expose the lithofilm. Little film has a dull side and a shiny side. You want the dull side up. The artwork also has a dull side or a toner side and a shiny side and you want the dull side down. So it is dull side to dull side. Line your artwork, close your frame. Okay. Um, I use a one second exposure and I just use a verbal countdown. 1,000 on, 1,000 off. 1,000 on, 1,000 off. Just that simple. Okay, the little film is now exposed. Time to develop. I take the little film in one hand and the safe light in the other. The reason I do this is that uh, as the little film develops, I am going to have to inspect the dark areas to determine when to stop developing, put it into the water to stop the developing action. Okay, so we begin things by slipping the lithofilm into the developer, slightly agitate with the tongs. After about 20 or 30 seconds, an image will start appear. The exposed areas will turn black and you will inspect those black areas for how dense they are. So occasionally you pull it out and hold it in front of the safe light to uh, check for graininess or if you can see through the black areas, that's not good enough. Back into the developer. Not good enough. Okay. All right, when you get a good, solid, dense black, it's time to stop the developing action into the water. Rinse for five to 10 seconds. Okay. Put the tongs back into the developer because you don't want developer in the fixer and you don't want fixer in the developer. Okay. Then you take your fixer tongs, pick up your uh, little film, let it drip a little bit, slip it into the fixer, slightly agitate. Then you will notice that the, uh, the clear image uh, which was uh, milky white in the developer now becomes crystal clear after a few seconds and your artwork your little film looks just like this so you will leave your little film in the developer for at least one minute you can leave it two or three um, but uh, one or two minutes is all you need okay when that's complete take it out drip it off rinse it in water and then you're pretty much complete and you hang it up to dry that's it good luck